Yo, okay, we're here with Gens Season 7, and with this new update, they have added the Slash Armor back. There are these six different tier armor sets that you can progress over the entire season, and of course, we're starting off with the Guardian Armor, and how you get this is getting armor shards, which you can earn these from mining, farming, fishing, and then also killing mobs. And basically, when you do get the armor shards, when you have a thousand of them, you can trade them in for an armor piece. But yeah, I'm sitting here on the new season. I do want to get and just set up my Gens and then start the grind but let me quickly do this bob quest if you've never played fake cloud gens before make sure you do come check it out the ip is there on the screen zap.fakecloud.com and i would honestly say that this is the best gen server out here in minecraft there's over 300 players online and uh we just gotta farm a little bit more wheat to complete this quest but if you've never played gens before they have this entire quest system that will literally teach you the game i have this quest book if i open this up i'm currently on the getting starting quest which is collecting a thousand wheat for bob and then if we bring it over to him we will complete this quest and now the next thing he wants me to do is give him 30 condensed wheat but i'll get to that later let's start off by creating our island and this time around i'm going to do the western world it's just a different theme island but it is pretty cool so this is our island this is where we throw down our generators there's this pre-made generator farm and you can pretty much throw down like your wheat gens that you get from starting off right there and then every few seconds they will generate these items that we can sell and then we get money and exp to level up so uh, i'll just type slash sell there and that just gained me over six thousand money now the interesting thing is i do have this special infinite collector and if i throw this down let's say right here it will infinitely pick up all the drops and then i have infinite storage so i don't need to use any of this storage system which is quite cool oh and then also about the armor i've already gotten eight of these guardian shards from farming i literally was farming for only a few seconds and we got that so that's sweet now, another thing that's really interesting with this is that we have the pickaxe enchant, so we have mining, farming, we have killing mobs, and then we also have fishing. Fishing is more of a late game thing, same with killing the mobs. You basically have to start with farming, and with all of my tokens that I did just get from farming right there, which it wasn't even that much, but still 150,000, I'm going to throw all this into our token finder to increase 15 levels. Upgrading these enchants will just give you more tokens, and then it'll also increase the activation chances. Oh, and then also, I have something that's very interesting. Uh, we bought ourselves two of these galaxy loot boxes. These these just give like a bunch of random rewards they can be really good or they can be kind of mid it kind of just depends on how lucky we are but for the final tiers we really want to see something good light dragon eggs and then 10 master keys okay that's not bad dragon eggs we can equip these for more boosts if i open all these we got ourselves an exp dragon tokens damage money and oh another damage there's actually a whole rarity system to these and i believe you can only equip up to four dragons so for now i'll just equip all of those but they pretty much just give us uh boost for that specific thing so we'll get more tokens if you do have the same rarity you can combine multiple of them together to increase it to the next rarity which is kind of cool anyways though we got these booster boxes which is absolutely huge we got tokens money and gems boosters but then i also got these cube boxes i opened these up and these gave me exp finder token finder pretty much you can apply these to your enchantments and they'll just increase the boost on them so not gonna lie this one isn't that good but it is a very high apply chance so if this one works, the token finder, we will now get 29% more tokens. But I came back to the spawn and I do have two other things to open. We have two of these monthly crates and these things give you nine different rewards. A bunch of different currency pouches. We got a booster box. I did get a cosmetic title, which is kind of cool. But then for the last crate, our last nine items, please give me some armor pieces. Oh, nice. I got a helmet and boots. All right. So what this does is give me a 25% money booster for both the helmet and boots literally now well i have a little cosmetic on so that's why it's a little fox hat but we get 50 percent more money i also got more booster boxes which is good oh nice an exp booster oh yeah i can't forget that we have all of the master crates open all those up we got some more q boxes a lot of more of those dragon eggs and some money and tokens all right i'm going to set aside all of the extra cubes and boosters that we got and throw them into our player vault and i want to build up our gen farm 
farm. And this is what I've made. Okay, I know it looks a little crazy. I've laid out a spot for 70 of the generators that we can place. If you look on the scoreboard, we can place 70 gens total. And then if I open the gen shop, what I've done is bought 70 of these crying obsidian generators and they go for 500,000 money each. These generate us $800 and then 10 experience per drop, which is actually really good. Once I place this down, you'll kind of see on what I mean. If my calculations are correct, this should have been enough spots. Hopefully it's not too little and it is, yes, it is perfect. There we go. So now that that's placed, we are now generating these drops. I do got to place a sign right here to fix this. And then I can throw down the infinite collector right there. So how this works is the gens still spawn, they drop their items, and then they go down to this ice, which then they get flown all the way to the middle, and then the infinite collector picks up the drops. The really good thing about this is that it is literally infinitely expandable. I can expand it out in the back if we need more gens over there. I can go this way, this way, this way. We will probably fill this out very easily considering that every time we prestige, we actually get ourselves five generator slots. But yeah, I can actually throw out this starter tier gen, and I want to get into to farming and get the ball rolling now that our generators will actually start making us some money while we're not here uh yeah let's get the farming all right now i don't know if any of you picked up on this but i still have 14 million money left over and you might be wondering on why i didn't spend it on gems well the reasoning for this is because of the tool upgrades i can actually spend money to upgrade the tool and it'll give us better stats and uh well i guess we're maxed out now i need to be prestige 5 to get the next one but this now gives me a small speed at attribute and an exp attribute which gives me more exp and speed okay yeah this is awesome and now with all the tokens that we got from those crates earlier i could get 460 levels of exp finder i think what i'll do is get 250 levels of this that puts it at a one percent activation chance and we just get 162 exp when it goes off oh i could get key finder but i don't really know if i should go for crate keys right now i mainly want to get tokens and exp this actually has a thousand levels and i can max this out for only 125 million tokens so with that now i'll yeah now i'll put the rest into key finder okay now prepare for a crazy amount of leveling i'm actually going to activate this 2x exp booster and then we start farming level 10 level 11 level 12 yeah, I mean, for real, this is just going to level me up so fast, and we're also increasing our farmer skill while doing this. Oh, and we just got a battle pass here. There's so much on this server and so many free rewards you can claim. Like, literally, take it like this. If you type such gifts, you can claim free daily rewards, up to 12 of them. If you type such battle pass, you can claim all these free tier rewards, which I can get 1 million tokens from that. If you look at your slash skills, you have the farmer, miner, and fighter skill, which you just get more rewards with this, and this is a tokens booster. And then from all the leveling up that you get, right now I'm sitting at level 19, about to be level 20, we get crates every single level. And now I have 12 grind crates and two pearl crates. And yeah, that just gave me a lot of gems, tokens, and money. All right, so I wanna do two things at once. I wanna complete this, try to prestige, but also complete the quest. If I go to the condensed table here, I can condense down that wheat into enchanted. And I need to give the farmer Bob over there 30 of this. And I'm about to hit level 40 right there. And I should actually have enough wheat. Let me try to condense this down. And I have 32 enchanted. Wait, so let's go quickly talk to Bob. And if I hand him this, the quest should be complete. Oh, wait, I have to go talk to the NPC Drago. Yeah, I'm definitely a noob with this whole quest system. Uh, where the heck is Drago? It was the guy right at the spawn. So we'll give him that wheat. And now he's telling me to go like check the upgrade station, whatever. Oh, actually, I think we did this like too fast. I was supposed to wait. I think it would have got a free upgrade. So we have to wait to complete the quest when we hit prestige five. Also, something really interesting is that the gens event just started. Gen now double drop of stuff that is actually kind of cool but now i am the level 40 right this means i can prestige this will increase my base multiplier and then also give me those five gen slots oh yeah i actually also gained a lot more keys not really any good ones just the grind and pearl crates oh and also let me quickly do the voting on the server so i can get some vote keys vote crates are actually pretty good and we just got seven of these so let's open all those and after spamming all these open hopefully we can get some good 
rewards. There we go. Okay. Oh, nice. We got two Alikis. The main thing I really want to see from those crates is, yeah, we got a lot of tokens. 194 million. I think I should put all of my tokens into EXP Finder plus 240 levels. And yeah, let's uh, get back to farming. And there we go. Level 45, which means I can literally prestige again. And that's another plus five gen slots. Okay. So with this, I want to head back to the islands. And I do want to buy 10 more gen tiers. So let's buy 10 of these crying obsidians and then we'll place them all down real quick one two three four five six seven eight nine and the ten okay so we placed down those 10 new gen tiers from checking out the infinite collector we already have 1.55 million money and then 19,000 exp that literally put me all the way back to level 17 anyways that is going to wrap up the first episode of this new season i'm going to have an entire playlist of all of my gens videos in the description if you care to watch any of those but yeah thanks for watching make sure you come check out the server and i'll see you all later